Hey, it's Garrett Brill. I'm out here with Jack White and Don Casey. We're doing some little testing with the M30 and more in particular, the H20N. You know, one of the questions we had was, um, you know, what does the H20N bring to the table? So we want to do, start doing some testing. First, let me say we put these, the, both of them are in night scene mode um, and then it's side by side so you can kind of see the thermal and everything else. Now, one of the first things that we noticed is that with the um, this is with the M30, and again, this is night scene mode. You can't make out a license plate. This is kind of zoomed in. We're, we're up there a little bit of 100 feet. Um, this is the scene that we're in. We have just a slight city glow in the background. We're in the woods. We're just on the kind of the outskirts of the city. Um, so we're in darkness. And with this one, you, you cannot make out the license plate. With the H20N, you can make out the license plate very clearly. One of the things we want to test is the ability to see a weapon. Uh, we have an individual out in a, he's just out in a parking lot, kind of out in the open. This is on the M30. Um, this is in night scene mode. This is a thermal, you can see him. Uh, difficult to see a firearm. If he showed it, you could possibly see it, but in this case, kind of difficult. In the night scene mode on this, you can't see it at all. It's a, it's a black parking lot. This is the M300 with the H20N. And look, you can see, Look at the, look at the, it has an AR-15 in his hand. And it, this is in the thermal, kind of difficult to see. Because it's about the same as his body temperature. See, as he turns around here, it should be, you should be able to see it. And look over here, you can see it clearly. Now he put it behind him. But he'll, he'll show it here in just a minute. There it is. You can see it. Look at look at right behind him. You see it? See it? Over here, it's difficult to see. Here, you can see firearm clearly. Hopefully, he'll bring it around. Can I come over here again? This is what we see. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Now we can actually see it in his hands and see it clearly. All right, so that was a good test. I know this has been a question for some on whether or not you'd be able to see a IR laser off of, this is off of a, a SWAT rifle. You probably can't see that, but that's the, the IR laser. Um, go ahead and move the, there you go, right over. Right there, if you can see it right there by the X. So that is the laser off of the rifle. I'll go ahead and try to show you that's the building over there and you can't see it it's not visible to the eye but the h20n is able to see ir laser of course the one that you see on the x that's the one coming off the h20n this is the one the round one is the one off the rifle So one of the things we wanted to test with the H20N is the IR strobe. So we have an officer out here uh, in gear and he has an IR strobe on his head or on his, in his hand, I don't know, but you're able to see not only the IR strobe, but you're actually able to see the officer himself. I don't know how well you can see it in this video, but it's very bright. You can see the officer himself and the surrounding details. The All right, so here is the m30 so you can see you, you would have to do side by side you can see thermal you can see over here the strobe you can't see a strobe here so you're kind of looking at relevant to the x but you can't really see any of the details again you see that there's the officer you can see a strobe but you can't really see it all together here this is with the m300 and the h20n and you're able to see both the thermal signature and over here even more clearly the strobe uh, and the officer himself and all the surrounding stuff. There's trees and there's like a little uh, brush line. There's where they, where they mowed the grass and where they didn't. You can see all the details um, of where he's at and the situational awareness is definitely much higher on the H20N. I know a lot of people are interested in, in the IR strobe capability, so I wanted to be able to capture that. All right, had to capture one more thing. This is actually pretty huge, okay? 
So we, right now, we are up at 357 feet in the air, and we are, where's our, where's our distance? At the very at? bottom. So 1,817 feet out. Okay, 1,800 feet out. Okay, again, this is, this is thermal. This is the H20N. All right, zoomed in a little bit, but that's that IR strobe from that far away. I'm going to try to show you the M300, see if I can't get it. If you can make that out, just that thing way the heck out there. All right, and where, where we're looking is back against these woods over here. And again, this is, you're able to see that IR strobe.